What's up, freaks? We are live for Breaking the Cycle, episode number three, with myself, the freak, Tyson, and the Midge. What is going on? This is episode three. This week, we're going to be talking about the freak, freak, these freak, me and these freak kids are going to be talking about money and responsibilities and working hard and playing hard. What are you two knuckleheads doing? Little gangsters. Little gangsters. Last week, you know, we talked about being a protector, defending yourself, defending others, and the, the creepers out there that are out there touching kids. And yeah, we have these type of conversations. Stop kicking the wires. We have these tough conversations out there, and that's the type of conversations you should be having. Breaking the Cycle is a live show on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your, just whacked you, changing the trajectory of your family tree so you can become the type of man that one day your son wants to become and the type of man that one day your daughter would want to marry if you ever let her out of the house, which we're not, so we don't have to worry about that, but just in case. Listen, these are, these are the types of conversations that you should be having with your kids, so they can learn to think for themselves and they aren't afraid to be themselves and be their freak selves. That's what it's all about. So, so when they eventually, and they will be, when they're eventually confronted with these types of situations out in the world or they come across these different things, they're not in shock and, and thrown off and, and freaking out and all that other stuff. They'll have an idea on how to approach it because they've already lived it, learned it, been through it, and, and that's what this is all about. That's why we have these tough conversations. It's about breaking the cycle. It's about not just giving kids things that I never had as a kid. Sure, that's one thing. That's, that's fine. You can, you can just give people things you never had, but that's not what the, the goal is here. Get on the Instagrams. That's not the goal here. The goal is to teach them how to think. That's really what the, really the goal is. To have someone to teach you how to think, that's more powerful than just fucking giving you anything. In the world, shit. I said no, 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 jar thing again this time because that's just distracting. You know, you know it's gonna happen and whatever. We just deal with it. We just deal with it. This is a perfect armrest right here with your hair. Your hair is awfully fluffy. Look at that. Oh my god. Can we shave your head? No. Fifty bucks to shave your head. No. Hundred. Ten thousand. No. Ten thousand dollars. No. You would not shave your head for ten. Are you on crack? A hundred thousand. Hold on. Let's just see what your hair looks like if you put it. You wouldn't. Shave your head for a hundred thousand? No. Hold on, wait, wait. That's what it would look like up. So you look totally different. Let's see what you would look like bald. Hold on. Oh. Look, move, move your hands. <laughs> That's what you look like bald. Oh my god. Don't you want to look like me? No. Do you look like this this beautiful creature? No? Beautiful. Beautiful? Exactly. Who said anything about beautiful? Exactly. Alright, so we're gonna get started here. And Hey! Want a joke? You got a joke? Mitch, you got a joke for us? Sure. What you doing over there? No, 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 no. All right, never mind. Yeah. All right, Tyson, you got a joke for us? Yeah, I yes. got a joke. Okay. Too late. Why do pigs do karate? Oh, God. So they could have pork chop. No, that's not the joke. That is horrible. That is horrible. So they could have, say it again? Why does a pig do karate? Why? So they can have pork chop. No, it's... That is horrible. No, no, you already no. stop, stop doing looking around there. All right, so a uh, great joke to kick off the start. Good job. That was funny. Just don't give up your day job, kid, for some career in, in comedy, comedicness. What? All right, last week we went over, we told you about our free code. We talked about core values in your business, core values in your company, that how you should have core values in your family. You are all over the place. No, no sure. more of that. <laughs> You have them there, no more. All right, so we talked about freak, our freak code, which we call it the freak code. It's our family core values. We're not gonna go through the whole thing, we're just gonna give you the key words for it. It was discipline, it was energy. What else? Attack. And? Mind. Body. Mission. You, got, you know any? Mission. Listen. Create. You don't know any. Win. Confidence. Yes. Protect. Protect. Freak. Freak. So last week, we, we zoned in on the protect part of it. This week, we're going to be on the create. And what's the create section of the, of the core values? Create. I will take risks, make bold moves, put myself out there, and contribute ways to make the family even more successful, including money. Money. Lots of money. We're going to talk about today 
evil money. Money is evil. Wait. Money. That's what, that's what the saying is. See what people say. Money is evil. Money is the root of all evil and all this other stuff. Money is money, the key to the world after violence. Money can't buy you. Money can't buy you happiness. They say. Money, whatever. All right, we're gonna get into all that and talk about it in a second. So. Create's going to be the, the word of the day. But let's get a quick recap of last week. We talked about being a protector. And we talked about creeps. And the funny thing is, while we're doing this on the Instagram, we had to block the motherfucker because there was a guy on there. We're talking about, talking to the kids about, and they, we talked to him before. It's not like the first time we're talking about them is live on here. We've talked about it many times before. It's about creeps who try to touch kids in, in weird places, in strange places, on their bodies that they shouldn't. And you get the point. And some creep was on Instagram putting some nasty, disgusting comments. Like, basically, he's one, probably one of those people. Like, it was just disgusting comments. We had to just block him, right? Like, it was just crazy out there. Like, the stuff he's saying about kids and about us. And it just shows you that there are fucking creeps out there. There's creeps out there. There's right now a creep out there watching this that wants to touch people in weird ways. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. So you have to be educated on it and be prepared for this stuff. So when... The world throws weird shit at you. You're prepared for it. And you're not in shock. And and you know how to deal with it. You know how to handle it. So let's let's talk about having tough conversations and uncomfortable conversations. And we were talking afterwards. And I was asking them. Like, we talk about fitness. We talk about nutrition. We're talking about creepers. Like, Midge, does... Do they teach you about, like, these kind of things in school? Like, health and fitness? Do they tell you about, like, creeps trying to touch you and all kinds of stuff like that? Nothing. Nothing like that. All they care about is just learning. There's just some... plain learning. And, like one plus one. And what else? What about, they don't teach you any kind of like health or anything like that? No, nothing. Anything about being safe? Just learning. Just learning. Nothing else? No. No. Nope. So that's all they care about is learning. They don't care about anything else. You, yeah, you screwed that one up too. Good one. No, Matt, they don't talk about masks, right? Oh, yeah, they do. And about Corona and... Yeah. To wear masks. I'm building a resistance in school. Because today I was in my math class and I just took off my mask, put it on the side of the desk. Because you want to breathe for a second, right? Yeah, but then I realized, like... she you were going to your whole little thing. My Good job. teacher, Miss Cruz, she wasn't saying anything, so I just kept it off. For I wouldn't use class. names or talk about specific locations because you're giving away all the evidence. And you should just say, this kid I know that goes to this school somewhere did this. Because now, let's hope that none of those people are watching this. Because you want to breathe for a second, so you, whatever. So, so they're not teaching anything about, they're not teaching anything about any of this stuff in school? No. What are they, what are they teaching about? They teach us some math, some reading, yeah, some math. They, yeah, they all, they only talk about learning and corona and like that. Sanitize your hands and wear a mask. That's it. That's the focus. Yeah. That's the main focus. Yes. More than eating, having a healthy breakfast, and no, staying like hydrated, that. being doing exercise. Oh no, my teacher talks about hydration. Yeah. Oh, that's good. My teacher doesn't at all. Nothing exercise, like meeting with friends, and running around and playing in the park and getting activity nope. and getting your blood flowing, running around and having fun. No, None of that nothing stuff? like that. Just learning and math. Learning in masks and sanitize your hands. You should. It's pretty sad that adults. You know. You know. It's not just like if you go around the airport, right? You see signs to wash your hands, right? Yes. That's even not, on the electronic billboards. We're driving down the highway to the gym, and it says, and on this bus, I see it says, "No mask, no ride." Like we have no freedom in this country. <laughs> and this used to be a free country. Now it's just a box full of masks. <laughs> the country is a box full of masks. And not even that, like, shouldn't you, you should be you know, being taught more about health and nutrition. Like, no one is shoving that down our throats about not to eating a bunch of shit, right? Shouldn't, don't you think that stuff should be shoved down our throats from the beginning? So that by the time we're adults, think about it. Adults have to be told to wash their hands, to cover their face when they're sneezing, and to not go out, not go around a bunch of people if they're sick. Like, isn't that something you should have to tell like a two-year-old? Yeah. Like, that's what they're telling adults. Do, do they Sorry. have like memory <laughs> like, shortage? They have to, they're teaching adults to wash their hands and to not sneeze on other people. Like, who the, who the fuck is going around sneezing on people? Like, it's crazy. This is what's being pushed down your throat, right? And, and instead of maybe eat a little healthy. 
Eat a little more vegetables with your dinner. Simple. Things like that, right? All right. Yes? No? Yes. Screw you? Something? Midge? Censored. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go into this week, which we're talking about creating. We're talking about creating and contributing and helping out the family, but not just that, about working hard and playing hard about learning the value of money, learning about earning money. Yes, you should have these type of conversations with your kids. You should let them know how to earn some money, what the, what, how to do it, what, what's the purpose of it, and what are they getting out of it? So we were at Disneyland recently. What happened? At, what did we do at Disneyland? What happened at Disneyland? We're leaving. We did some rides, and then I searched. We, I, the, the number one thing that I was on the lookout for was a Lego store. But I didn't see Not one. just a Lego store. You were looking for Legos in every... You're in like the, the stand that has sells water, like the guy dude that's selling water and, and fresh fruits. And you're like looking behind his shit to see if he's selling... You think he sells Legos? You think he sells Legos? No, that dude ain't selling any damn Legos. We went in like every single store just to check. And we then, spent more time at Disney looking for freaking Legos than we did going on rides probably. What do you think, Mitch? Yeah, it was totally... Mitch, you need a nap time or something? No. You sure? Nappy time? Is it nappy time? And then we're on the the street where a bunch of people are walking. And then I see a dragon on top of a building. Then I say, Lego store. At first you thought I was joking. No, you remember I was walking the way because I said, I think we're going to run into a Lego store. Yeah. In some weird direction. So but first, you know everything. Like when I do something wrong, you say do this. And you were right. Like why? Amazing. Amazing. Get used to it, kid. It happens a lot around here with me being right. Not always. I screw shit up a lot. I'm wrong a lot. So but I'm also right a lot. No, we also smell first we saw the guy with the Lego thing and you knew there was a clue. Yeah. Lego bag. Yeah, and then we started seeing more Lego bags and then we just went down this like mile long street. Alright, so we walk into the Lego store. And we're looking at these Legos and I see this Lego that there's only like a couple left on Amazon and it's 250. Well, first you looked at some other ones, like smaller yeah. ones, some cool ones, like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. But then when I saw that one, it kind of caught my eye. Of course, the big, most expensive, one of the most expensive ones in the store, 250 bucks. Some big, what was it? Which one was it? It was the, the only Jurassic Park Lego, not Jurassic World, Jurassic Park Lego. 3,120 pieces and it was 250. $50. And did you ask me to buy it for you? No. Because you know what the answer would have been. You said... Uh, the answer would have been, hell no, I am buying that for you for $250. And you said, if you're going to spend all your money, might as well just get like a $120 Lego or something. And then we sat there for 15 minutes, and you finally asked me, what are you getting? I picked up the box and looked at it, and then we went to go buy it. But I wasn't buying it for you. I'd use my bank account. How did you how do you money? How where'd you get money from? Doing chores, cleaning the gym, doing your supplements, doing your vitamins, cleaning your office, do, emptying the dishwasher, doing your workout drinks, cleaning Laundry, your car, filling the fridge. I do filling the fridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. That whole list? That's the only thing you said you do? What else do you do, Mitch? We do laundry together, no. we do the Ish. Ish. We, eh. we do garbages together, dishwash. So let's talk about laundry. You, how old are you two? I'm 10. And I'm 7 laundry. years old. <laughs> you just started helping do laundry like maybe the last year, right? About, how long have you been doing laundry? Five years. <laughs> Each week you get me to laugh on something almost. And that's a rare thing. Because I was born without the facial musculature for smiling. But somehow... On these episodes, they get me to crack a little smirk each week. So you're 10 and you've been doing laundry thing for five years. I don't know if it's been five, but it's probably been damn near close to it. Probably five or six you started doing some kind of laundry, right? Mm -hmm. Because you want, why'd you want to start doing laundry? Did, I, did, you, did that make you do laundry? No. No. Why do you want to start? Why do you want to do, who'd want to do laundry? Because you said, hey, you want some money? It was when we were just in your room and I was reading some kind of book. And then you said, hey, I want to make some money? And I was like, shh. Sure, what do I do? And you said, you just have to do my laundry. First I said $100, then I said 60 then I said 20 then I said 2 and then... You were the worst negotiator. You went from 100 to do the laundry, 
And I said, hell no, that's too expensive. And you didn't say anything. And then you said, all right, $2. I'm like, what the hell? You're the worst negotiator in the history of business. You went from $100 to $2. But this was years, literally years ago, years, like at least four years ago. And I haven't, I haven't touched laundry. I don't even know how to use that damn washer and dryer. And that's, there's many, many lessons here about just from, from my point, like, all right, so I don't want to have to do laundry all the time. It's, a, it's a, a, something I shouldn't be spending my time on so I could spend time on other stuff like learning, studying, building a business, making connections, growing relationships, stuff like that that I could do to, to move the needle forward. If I'm spending time doing stuff like laundry, that's a, a freaking going to waste up, take up a lot of my time. So me to pay him to do it, the, the, the time it takes off my hands and gives me to do other things, for me, that's freaking huge. So literally, he's been doing laundry for years, and now she started helping him do laundry. And what, what are some other, what else do you do? Like supplements, my pre and post workout. So every day, my- Usually every day. My pre-workout, I'm saying I, need, I use it every day. So I use vitamins every morning. I use vitamins in the middle of the day and different vitamins at nighttime, three different times a day. So normally, and, and some of those, like the morning ones, there must be nine, 10, 11 different vitamins, right? Like vitamin A, C, E, all that stuff. So every morning, I would have to go, Screw open bottle one, take the pill out, close it, put it back on the shelf. Find bottle two, do it, bam. That's just for morning. Do that again in the middle of the day. Do that again at night. That's just for vitamins. Then there's the pre-workout sh- sh- drinks and post-workout shakes that have different, whatever, glutamine, protein, pre-workouts. Afterwards has like my greens drinks, my everyday fit from Trulene, my Herbalife supplements, specific things in the before and after. I would have to Every workout, do that. So we got these little funnels. He now he now puts them together, pre and post. Marks them on these little funnels. These little caps has it. I pour it right in. I memorized it too. You he memorized which ones it is. So it must be what ten days worth at least of each pre and work somewhere around there probably. No, more. More. There's like in that drawer. There's like seventeen or eighteen of them. Okay, so that wouldn't be ten of each pre and post. There's seventeen. Somebody oh, needs to go back to math class. Apparently. All right, now we know that the video games are cut. We're going back to math because basic addition and subtraction and multiplication on money. Yeah, I bet we put a dollar sign in front of that. You'd figure out the math real quick. You wouldn't screw up the math. If there's some money you had coming to you, you'd know it real quick, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? So that's saving. You think about it. all that time for the, the vitamins three times a day. All those, the different powders, I got to put the certain amount for the pre. And then after work out the post. Now I just literally go to the cabinet, shoop, I shoot it in. In two seconds, I have it done. The vitamins, boop, I pop it out and I have it ready for the day. And this I is- I usually make your pre's and posts. Oh, and even make them for me even now. Now he even actually puts them in the bottles for me when, when you're home. But now when you're at school, I have to do the struggle of putting it into a bottle and put ice and water. Think about that. Every minute you could find to delegate things out, whether it's people on your team, an assistant, kids, whatever it is, a virtual assistant, whatever it is, you can find so much time to then have time to do more important stuff. That's what productivity is is getting more done in less time so you have more time to do the things you want to do. Like do things like this that we could sit here at at 4 p.m. and and do a show like this together and have the time to do it. And do things like work out together. Have that time to do it. Mind for time. Constantly mind for time. That's what you need to do. Create space in your calendar. Create space in your freaking life. Midge, what are you working hard for? What are you trying to save up for? A horse. A horse? Like a real life horse? Yes. What are you going to do with it? Ride it. Take care of it. And I'm going to spend my own money on it. You know how to ride a horse? Yeah. How I've been that? riding for a year and a half. Jeez. We rode, Maybe almost two years. We rode one time in, in, in Las Vegas, not Las Vegas, Costa Rica. And we almost died. I, no, I almost died. Yeah, I think took off. Horses are too big and too strong to be freaking out over stuff. Horses, you ever had a horse freak out on you, Midge? No. Actually, yes. What happened? So I was doing my first competition and they were giving out the ribbons for like first place and last place and all the things like that. And they, they gave me my ribbon and my horse felt the ribbon and she was just, she didn't know what it was so she just took off. She probably thought it was a snake. It freaked her out, the ribbon. So yeah. what What did you do? Did you freak out? No, I didn't freak out. What did you do? At all. I, they told me to drop the ribbon, so I did, and then she just stopped. What were you doing while the horse was freaking out? What were you doing? I was trying to figure out what to do. Okay, what was it? What did you do? I dropped the ribbon. 
<laughs> That's it. Well, I also stayed on the horse. That doesn't make sense. So you stayed calm and controlled, did you, or did you freak out? Were you screaming no, for help? What were you doing? I wasn't screaming or anything. I didn't freak out. I was very calm, and I felt like I could stay on the horse, so I did. And so, what did recently? What did you two both both do with your Guys money? I want to hear a joke. You have another joke? Oh, mm-hmm. excellent. It's about street lights. What did the street lights say oh to the other? Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't even want to know. Stop looking! I'm changing. Why do you like freeze after every joke? You go like because this. it's 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 no words. There's no words for them. They're so horrible. There's no words for them. I got. I also have a joke. What's it's that? About golf. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of fans <laughs> in case he got a hole in one? Yeah, I'm freezing again. These are just. <laughs> These are just outrageous freaking jokes. These are outrageous jokes. Well, if you have to keep it, it makes it not funny when you keep doing that. Yeah. Real slick there, slick eyes. Scroll up. <laughs> that's like what Bidden does. That's, a, that's what the Russian and Bidden does. So what else did you two recently do with some of the money that you earned? Because you are earning this money. You're learning how to earn money and learning the value of money. And that shit ain't just going to be given to you. You're going to earn it. You're going to work hard. What does working hard allow you to do? Play hard. Play hard. Hard you work? The harder you play. Jinx. But you got to earn that shit, right? Yeah. Stuff's not going to be handed to you. All right, so what uh, What else did you guys do recently? What else did you guys do with some of your money recently? So, we bought two hamsters. That's not... There's supposed to be a story, and then you say, we bought two hamsters. Well, you bought two hamsters. That was kind of the answer to the question. I don't know what you're talking about, boy. So what else? No story? Did you see this goat here? Yeah. Christmas present. You guys think goats are just a joke that we talk about goats all the time. What do you do to him? How does he talk? Talk! No, no. That's called goat abuse. Well, they can't see him. He doesn't move anymore. No, he only moves at the beginning and end or something. That's creepy. Can you shut that down, please? Does it turn off? No, don't hit it again. Or does that turn off? All right. So you bought two hamsters, and you bought it with your own money. Yes. yes. What else did you see there? What, what was I trying? What was I going to buy when we were there? A snake. A snake and, and I was a begging you. And a, tar- a tarantula. Mr. T. All right. You bought the, the what, what are the what are the hamsters' names? Zip and Zap because they're on drugs. And how long how long ago did you get them now? Maybe two weeks yeah. already. No, th- this is going to be our third even. week. Holy shit! They're still alive. You two kept two creatures alive for that long amount of time? I am shocked. I gave those little suckers a week, 10 days tops with you two maniacs. I am shocked. So, the, the, I don't know. I'm very inconsiderate with my money, sadly. So, it was the beginning of August and, I'm gonna, and I just said, I'm not going to buy anything for the rest of the month. And then a week later, I'm on offer up searching for Nerf guns, and then we drove like an hour to go pick them up. Yeah, it's my life. Yeah. I have to drive an hour. Where did we go to Huntington Beach or something? No, we went in to traffic. traffic. So- no, it was like in L.A. somewhere. Yeah, somewhere drove to freaking L.A. just to go pick up some old, dirty, crusty ass Nerf guns. But you work hard, you play hard. But that's what it's about. I think we actually went to Real Guns too after, so that made it worth the trip. <laughs> Right. So anyway, so the hamsters. Then you got the hamster zip and zap, right? Yeah. yeah. And then I said, okay, I promise I will not buy anything. Then the next week we go to my friend's house because you guys had your date night, which you do today. And we went to my friend's house. He has two hamsters, so we were playing around with the hamsters. It was really fun, and we decided that we're getting our own hamster. No. And then the next day we're working out, and I said. Well, no, you said that, hey, let's go buy some hamsters. I was like, okay. And then later that day, we drove to the pet store, bought everything, and came back. With and the, two hamsters. And they're still alive. Holy crap. It was $136. Yeah, I paid seventy plus plus sixty-five. How did you pull that off? How did you con her into... So you, you paid more than... You paid less than she did? Yeah. She says she doesn't care about her. Well, I could give it out to somebody if I needed it to. And he was the somebody? He's yeah. conning you. He's conning you into it. Shh. Stop giving away my secrets. Giving away your secrets. Well, I, I knew it right from the top. 
<laughs> I knew it right off the bat. Okay, let's do another joke real quick. You have more jokes? Oh, yes. oh, I can't wait. Why does the soccer? No, that's stadium... my joke. Fine. Well, you know, if you're not saying them, it's his joke. Why um, does the soccer? No. All right, go, Mitch. Why does the soccer? What can light up the soccer stadium? What are you staring at? What can light up the soccer stadium? A soccer match. The freezing. You freeze for like three seconds. Cause it's I, 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 there's no words. I can't even know how to respond to these jokes. A soccer match. Holy mm -hmm. crap! Holy crap! Well, you guys got some killer content today. Let me tell you, you're getting better and better every week with those jokes. This is some good stuff. Good stuff. So, all right, all this stuff about money and just life in general, the stuff we're talking about, earning your money, having to, if you want something, you got to go pay for it yourself. You have to save your money, you got to bust your ass, you got to do all the supplements, you're doing laundry, you're looking for, always looking for opportunities to, what can you do, what can you sell, how can you make more money when you want something, you know how much you have to save, what kind of work you have to do to get it, you start planning ahead of time, all right, I could get it in this amount of time, if I do this amount of work, that's how long it's going to take me to save it, and all that other good stuff. What do, what do you think is the purpose of all that? What is this even teaching you right now? You're just a, you're just a bunch of little knucklehead kids. What is this teaching you even? It teaches you about like life and like learning about yourself, business, getting future, prepared for life, money, money, paying for things. Like since we got the hamsters, now we have to pay for their bedding, their cotton things or cotton things. Yeah. So it's. You, it's also, it's also responsibility. You buy one thing, now it makes you have to buy other things. And also it's a living creature. That's even more responsibility that you have to take care of, right? So, and learning about, you said learning about, you're learning about business and future. What does that even mean? It just sounds cool, but what does it even mean? That means that you're teaching us how to be good in the business and how to work a business and how to just, and future means that you're going to help us so we know what to do in our future. And Lori do what? Like in, in, in how? By teaching us how to get money and also how to do business and stuff like that. And also getting prepared for life. Learning how to learn by yourself. Like, let me ask you. So you want to learn how to earn money, right? Because that's what... Money is bad. Money is evil. Like people who have, when you make, you know, when you if you ever when you work hard, you bust your ass, you make a lot of money. People will talk crap about you. They'll say you're because lucky. They're jealous. They'll just they'll say you're lucky. Not even that. They just don't even have the because they don't have the work ethic to do it themselves and don't want to take the risks and make the big bold moves. But so, what do what do you think? Like, let me ask you. So, do you, do you want to be? Do you guys want to be like me? Yeah. No. You don't? I All right. Guess, I guess we do. So you want to be like me? She said no. I, because I was talking about shaving your head. You worried about that? So do you want to be like me? Kind of, yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Kind of. Do, do you want to be me? No. Of course not. Who do you want to be? Me. We want to be ourselves. Why don't you want to be me? Because, because we don't everybody, want to be me. everybody's different. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's the same. So everybody has something different about themselves. So we can't be you. You can't make decisions for us. We, you could help us, but you can't do stuff for us. So you don't want me making your decisions? No. You don't want me controlling your brains? No. It's very lucky that we have a dad that doesn't say, wear masks when you go into a store. <laughs> you ready for another joke? Oh, God. Yeah, go ahead. Why did the bike fall over? It was too tired. Yes, get it because of the tires. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I didn't need the explanation. I just needed this, the three seconds of my silence to get over how awesome of a joke it was. Good stuff. So, you don't want me to control your brain. Do you want me to make your decisions for you? No. Do you Especially some, our souls. Do, do you sometimes want help with decisions? Yes. So, I could help you sometimes, but help you would... Really, what is like... What do you think is the, the goal of it all? Like, what do you want... Like all of this that we're talking about, like, is to to do what? Not to go to college. That's for sure. You don't want to go to college? No. Oh, I didn't college even know. College is a waste of a, 
is a waste. Oh, well, not really. If you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, if that's what you want to do, stuff like that, you have to go to college for that kind of stuff, specific stuff. But do you have to go to college to be an artist? An artist? There's probably courses, I guess, but do you have to? No. Depends on what the artist is. I guess you I mean there's you could learn, you could get teaching on that stuff, do I guess. Do you have to go to college to be a scientist? Yes. I guess so. And I mean what kind of scientist? What kind of scientist do you want to be? Me and my friends are look me and my friend are in school we're looking at a lot of sea creature books and we want to be scientists about the ocean. Scientists about the creatures. Sea creatures? Yeah. That's cool. Do you know what is that called? Does it have a name? Probably has a name. I don't know. Hmm? I have no idea. So all this that we're talking about, like you don't you want to be like me, but you don't want to be me. You don't want me doing your thinking for you, right? You want to you want to what? Think for ourselves. Because that's when you get older, you get imagine an adult. Being an adult who can't think for themselves. You know who's gonna think for that person? Other people that they Nobody. don't even know. Strangers. Everywhere. The, everybody Slaves. that they everybody that they come in contact with, they're just gonna ask them to make decisions for them. Like being being in control of their soul. Basically, it's like, like in, in Mortal your Kombat, your soul is, is mine. mine. Your soul is mine. So I say the guys in the project, when they piss me off and I could see, I see I took their soul and they're done. And they're about to ring the bell. So I tell them, I say, your soul is mine. It's just, you let me take your soul. And after, and after, wait. Think about an adult. So you bought some for $250 and made the same for a horse, which is freaking expensive. You need to have, you need to realize like, and have bigger goals and bigger thoughts. You know, we there's people that come for the project. And of course, everyone's different. Everyone's at different stages in life. That's fine. We get it. But the project costs $12,000. You guys know that, right? Yes. It could be. You could think of, wow, it's pretty expensive. That's, Can I say the story? That's a good amount of money. But there's there's people who tell me, or oh, maybe in a year or two, maybe in a year or two, I'm going to be able to do the project. I can't pay for that right now. So they're thinking in their head, it's going to take them a year or two to come up with an additional $12,000 that they could pay for their own personal development and to level themselves up and become an even better husband, father, leader, man, entrepreneur, learn about business, all this stuff. Their thing is going to take them over two years or even a year or even six months to come up with $12,000 extra dollars. What do you, like, what do you think about, what do you think that, how that, what do you think about how that person's thinking? That negative, they won't be able to do it. Money, things are too expensive. And also, after I bought that Lego, I actually asked you, hey, do you think if I haven't bought, if I haven't spent a single penny, if I collected all my savings, do you think I'd be able to pay for the project? Hell yeah. And it's not even, it's not like some kids save their money from like birthday money, from gifts. Most, you don't really get much gifts of cash or money, right? It's just like you've, you both earn the money you have. But think about that. An adult thinks it's going to take them a year, a year of working and busting their ass, working 40, 50, 60 hours a week to get $12,000 extra in a year. Like the main thing they're doing is thinking too small, right? They're not thinking big enough. They're not thinking positive, like that. Uh, how much potential they have and what, what they could go out there and actually accomplish in the freaking world, right? It's just not, they're not thinking big enough. All right, anything else you want to add? Any more great jokes before we yes. sign off here? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Why do seagulls fly over the sea? Oh, no. Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. There we go. The, the... It's scary. Stop starting. It's just freaking scary. All right, we're going to sign off here. This has been episode number yes. three of, of Breaking, Breaking the, the cycle. cycle. Oh, no, what? I have one more joke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me mm -hmm. get ready to pause. What? What did the janitor say when he jumped No, out? we did that one last time. Oh. What? So what? Supplies. She'll have to say it again. Maybe someone didn't see it last week. That's one of your go-to. That's like your all-star, your favorite one, I think. Oh, All right, we're going to see you next week stop. on Breaking the Cycle. This has been episode three with The Freak, with Tyson and the Mids. This is all about having those conversations with your kids, teaching your kids how to think, being the type of role model, specifically a positive male role model for your little freak children so that you can break the cycle and change the entire outlook trajectory of your family tree.
being the role model that they want to be like, but don't exactly want to be because they want to be what? Ourselves. Yes. Our soul. <laughs> Your soul Our is souls. mine. Our souls are ours. That is just creepy. All right. We will talk to you later in case no one told you this yet. Today, you are fucking awesome. awesome. You better not say what I said. You better say your own way of doing it. Flipping. No excuses. Anything you want to finish off and tell these people out there. No! Pass out. You're going to pass out. Very, very normal. So I can't imagine where they get it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. Excuse